It's about that time. 2018 Top Series 1 Baseball Half Case Break number 5. Uh, let's get to it. Let's see what we got here. So let me put it on the screen. Whoop, there it is. So who all up in this break? What up, Emerald City? How you doing? Has anyone gotten anything like really cool out of this? I saw uh, from one of the earlier breaks Jason did. Well, that fell. There was this pretty cool like patch auto. Should go to hobbies. Only doing half of it right now. Well, Chris Fitz, I mean, you, you know I don't play that shit, bruh. You know I don't play that. Well, Emerald City, hopefully you get something nice, my man. What teams you got? Let's speak it into existence. Oh, yeah? You got, like, any... any where are you going to go? Fishing or something? Where are you at anyway, Emerald City? What up? Good luck, everybody. All right, so clearly Abraham is probably still drunk off the Patriots' loss. Oh, man, that is super cold up there. Super cold up there. Chicka chicka wow wow. All right, who's in this break? Speak now, so we can uh, spread the good mojo. You going fishing? I don't even know where that is. It's for it's forty eight. It's not cold at all. He says what? Dude, if it was forty eight degrees. I am, I am close to catching hypothermia or something. Ah, I see what you did there, Brandon. Speak it into existence, man. I can't, I can't tell you how many times I have people come in. And say, hey man, pull this card for me. And it actually happens. Who, who else is in this break? Who else? Because I'm going to be opening packs for a little minute here. Jason like, flew through this. How did he do it? Did he like pack stack it? Because he, he went through a whole case in like an hour. I'm doing a half case in like an hour and a half. Oh, nice, Emerald City. That's what's up. What up, Yellow 23 over on Breakers? How you doing, bro? If Mike Trout shook my hand, I probably wouldn't even wash that hand.
Hmm. It depends on the sport, Alex, to be honest. Uh, in my personal opinion, Court Kings basketball, uh, baseball or football. Baseball, I'm not really knowledgeable on. In football, right now, probably limited football, honestly. Limited football is fucking Fuego. Especially for what you're spending on it, on a box. And what you could potentially get out of it. That's just my opinion. No problem, Alex. Also, keep in mind that that is just my opinion. Then again, you know, I'm not really into the hobby. I don't collect. I don't rip and flip. You know what I mean? So that's just my personal opinion. If you're trying to make books, you know, put, put some more research in. All right, peeps. Speaking of in, let's go in on this, uh, this business called Series 1. I'm just going to go through this thing. James McCann. That's the 2018 for the Tigers. There's a trout. You know, I'm trying to catch the short prints, but you really got to look at the back of the card to catch the code. If it ends in 43, it's a short print. If it ends in 44, it's a super short print. Do what you got to do, Nibbles 5150. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, man. I got video proof. I did absolutely nothing to you. You came in and bashed me, and I will not stand for that. So, uh, goodbye. What it do, Kyle D? Looks like I'm going to get my first ever chargeback. Hey, that should be fun. What is this? Got a foil here for Wilson Contreras of the Cubs. Nothing there. And there goes our patch. I was hoping for an auto. Xander Bogertz of the Red Sox with a material card. Man, hitting. I think it's like probably one or two autographs per case in this deal. So if we're lucky, we'll see at least one autograph. That would be nice. This has to get random. Two different teams on there. We have uh, Starling Castro of the Yankees with a foil. The foils aren't numbered or anything. They're just shiny. These have to get random to different teams. I think those are the only cards that have like multiple teams on it. I want to see it like a... CBJ said he hit a super short print. I'm trying to get something like that. 
Got Jason Kipnis to 2018 for the Indians. World Series. All right. Foil for Dylan Bundy of the Orioles. In a, I mean, in a case, I think there's like about two to three short prints. Some of these I've never seen before. This stuff is tough. But some of those short prints go for some, some decent money. We got Cameron Rupp foil for the Phillies. What do we got here? Now, but I don't know about you guys, but I went through every single card. So if you catch a short print, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on going through it. Because the only real way, 100%, without a doubt, to know if there was or not a uh, short print is to look at the back of the card and find the code. Just keep on going through this thing. Oh boy. Mm, that's not going to work.
Doop. So Emerald City, you get like players to sign them for you? You're like you go to the to spring training or something? Jake Odorizzi, foil for the Rays. And the fact that cards are like one is facing one way, the other one's facing the other. Oh, Jonathan Shoop, I think that's how you pronounce that, for the Orioles, numbered to 2018. Emerald City. Well, listen, if you can manage to get me an autograph, that would be kind of cool. Joe Musgrove foil for the Astros. I was watching that. I was actually watching a video on the Mariners. They, they, they like, they sell crickets or cockroaches out there or something like that in the stadium. That's kind of weird. Max Fry of the Braves, that's number to 76. We freaking, man, we got rid of everybody on the Marlins. I wonder what we're going to look like next year. Honestly, Emerald City, I, I was joking, man. But if you do that out of the kindness of your heart, it'll it'll get it'll be displayed up there with the with the rest of my uh, my collection. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's that's love right there, Emerald City. We need we need more peeps like you, man. We need more peeps like you, people that is cool AF. Uh, chili lime cricket. What? I'm sure it probably tastes good, but you know the fact that you're eating a bug is probably <laughs> not gonna go over too well. But if you were like blindfolded and it was like deep fried, I don't think anybody put a little hot sauce on it. I don't think anybody would care. Like, mm, what? What is this? A Dayan Baton says of the Yankees two color patch. Uh, yes, Emerald City. There's that material card for the Yankees. No autograph in this box. 
Unless somebody uh, messes up and throws a little extra extra in there, that would be nice. But I think we know that's not going to happen. Come on with the hotness. That has to get randomed. You tried them and it was weird? Did it at least taste decent? Like, you know, because there, there are cultures around the world that eat bugs and it's, or eat certain things and it's just, it's a norm to them. But to us, it's like, it's, I guess, taboo or whatever. But I mean, in other parts of the world, it's, it's what it's just whatever. Just another day in the life, you know. James Paxton of the Mariners with a foil. Speaking of the Mariners. Wow, check on wow, wow. We got Miguel Cabrera of the Tigers foil. It tasted like the flavor that was put on it. Huh. So now the next question is, what kind of flavor did you get? You get like Parmesan garlic or, or something? We got Steven Matz to 2018 for the Mets. What is that? Yeah, I'm going to just stop trying to find them. Short prints are usually them in their, like, a warm-up or something. But then Jason hit a super short print, and he, you know, I asked him, oh, was he, like, in his warm-ups or something? He's like, no, he's just, it was a different picture, and he, I forgot who it was, but he was just holding, like, the number one up or something. So, the really, the only way to tell the short prints is to actually physically look at the back of the card. Which, like I said, I'm not going to do during the break because it just would take forever. Alright, this is the third box. I think we can do this in under an hour. Check the store here. Kyle D. You know, you hopefully, it, you know, if it's the right room, it'll fill like within minutes. Kyle D. Because, like you said, it's it's a high end product. And, you know, the potential for, for a decent return is pretty up there. But, you know, of course, there's high risk involved, too. There's a good chance you're not going to hit anything. So I think that's what's stopping it. you out of here. Later. So I think that's what's stopping it from filling. Uh, honestly, is the fact that, you know, there is a good chance that you're not going to hit. However, that's why I came up with a little hitless protection uh, on Flawless and in Immaculate Football. You know, there's only so many cards in those in those in the uh, in those breaks. So, if you do happen to go hitless, I'm putting you in a random where you get a chance to win a hundred bucks in break credit. 
Uh, what's up, Benjamin? Let's talk some 20 Twin Twins, baby. I'm assuming you're in this break. So, Kyle, listen, my, my, my whole thing is, you know, I, I offer deals and, you know, I do Hitler's protection and, uh, you know, I do, I even offer discounts if you pick up, like, multiple teams and things like that. But there's, you know, at the end of the day, there's only so much I can do. You know, we, we need more help. We need more peeps. We need, we need some of the eBay folks to come over and uh, represent over at RipCityCards.com. Which, by the way, if you've never made a purchase at RipCityCards.com, all you have to do is visit RipCityCards.com. Click login at the top right of the screen. Then register. Sign up for an account. And you will receive an email with a $15 off code. Only good at RipCityCards.com. I think I did. You feel me, Kyle D? It's it's a little Hitler's protection. So if you don't get a hit, at least you have a chance to get something back. You know? So that, that's just me trying to give back to the people. You know, and we, we are uh, talking about getting a rewards program as well. Uh, but that's, you know, that's another story for another day. I'm trying to be like cool and find the short prints and we're like, oh look, I found the short print. Alex Avila of the Cubs foil. Nothing there. What else we got? Anthony Rendon of the Nationals of twenty eighteen. What a do, JG. Uh, how do I tell if it's a short print on the back? On the back of the card, you know, it's so small, it, my camera's not going to focus. But right next to the Topps website, there's a code number. In this one, the last two numbers are 8-7. But if it ends in 4-3, it's a short print. If it ends in 4-4, four, four, it's a super short print. Uh, so that's what I mean by, you know, having to look at the back of the card to definitely know whether or not it's a short print. The base set ends in 87. Uh, the inserts, you know, depending on the insert, it'll be like 60 something. Like this one right here ends in 70. You know, this is also an insert, the, uh, the league leaders. This one ends in, well, this one also ends in 87. So there goes that, me trying to sound like a smart ass. But yeah, man, that's that's how we tell. We look at the code in the back of the card. So imagine if I was really looking for short prints, I would have to, instead of showing the front of the card, I would just look at the back of the card. So instead, I'll just show every single card. If it comes out, it comes out. My sorters are already aware of how to find them. So if we do get short prints, you know, they'll be sleeved and top loader, of course. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon of the Pirates foil. And, you know, it also comes out on video. You see every single card. So if people are like, oh, you missed a short print or whatever, you know, we, ha we do have the video proof as well. Well, so much for an autograph. Yankees are killing it right now with the uh, material cards. This one for Masahiro Tanaka. Right there. Still waiting on an auto. If we're lucky, we'll get one. 
Well, JG, listen, man, I try to solve all problems and issues. But, you know, I've learned that you're not going to make everyone happy. You know, there are people out there that are just miserable and do their best to make others miserable. It is what it is. But for the most part, yeah, man, I, I try to do right by everybody because, you know, I would want the uh, same in return. But, yeah, man, if you have any issues, concerns, questions, whatever, you know, feel free. Please don't hesitate to let me know. And I'll do everything in my power to make it right. Aaron Nola, the Phillies with a foil. You know, I know I can be a dick and I can be a little, little bit of an asshole. But it's all out of love. You guys know this. I tease because I love. So the negative card, John Lackey of the Cubs. Not numbered or anything. Still ends in 87. But these negatives are about one per case. And uh, I know how you guys love your case hits. You know, and not all, you know, it's not only just me, JG. Also, you know, I got a team, man. I got sorters that respond to customer service issues. I also have my boy Jason. He pretty much handles all the eBay listings. And he also helps me out, you know, responding to questions and whatnot. So, you know, it's a, it's a full-on team effort here, man. You know, it's, it's not just your boy. It's not just your boy. Uh, I'm like, I'm 10% <laughs> of what goes on here. Everything, you know, I got to give credit to the Sorters and Jason and, and Gelfie, man. They, they all bust their ass. Me, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a pretty face to look at and to yell at whenever you go hitless. Oh, like, fuck that guy. I didn't get shit. Fuck that dude. For the Braves, Tom Glavin. I do believe this will be numbered with the black border there. Yep, to two ninety nine exactly. No problem, uh, Benjamin. That has to get randomed. John Lester, the Cubs with a foil. And there. I believe this is numbered. Corey Dickerson of the Rays. That is numbered to 50. Okay. Chicka, chicka. Wow, wow. Michael Francota, 2018 for the Phillies. Officially halfway through, and it's been about half an hour. So I think I'm uh, on pace to finish within an hour. I got three boxes left. Let's turn it up a notch here. Still waiting on the autographs. So listen, peeps, I just, I checked the store and I got nothing going on right now. Let's change that. I still got that immaculate football filler at 12 spots. If you want to get in where you fit in, you get a random team for 60 bucks in immaculate football. I still got lots of good teams available. Lots of good teams still available. So if you want to get into the filler, let me just uh, go ahead and drop that one time for the one time. That's not it. Let me find this thing. I think I had it up here or something. Here it is. Do the old copy and paste. Whoop. There it is. Need 12 more spots to fill immaculate football, guys. I got the Bengals, Bills, Broncos, Browns, Bucks, Chargers, Dolphins, Giants, Jets. Panthers, Raiders, Rams, Ravens, Redskins, Seahawks, and the Titans still available.
Mm. Uh, Tomas, I think is still stuck in traffic or something. That that San Diego traffic, baby. Who else was slightly disappointed with the halftime show at the Super Bowl? And beyond that, I felt like the commercials this year were kind of whack. Then again, I was pretty drunk, but I mean, seriously. Nothing really stood out to me. David H, I, I bet you a hundred bucks that uh, that's not gonna fall. Nothing, David. I thought you were talking about the... You said Timber, so I figured, oh, like, oh, the stack of cards is going to fall. Listen, Justin Timberlake is the man. That's why I was like, the halftime show was a little bit... Uh. You know, he should have brought out Janet Jackson. I heard that Snoop Dogg might have been... Might have came out for, with an appearance. But he did not. Oh, I get what you're saying now, David. I was like, what? You keep in mind, I'm a dumbass, so. Apologies, apologies. You know, I say stupid shit on the regular. <laughs> you were hoping for Jimmy Fallon? Prince really said he didn't want to be hologrammed, and, and then that happened. So, so much for that. All right, here we go. It would have been so much better if he if he pulled out Janet Jackson. Like, hey, it's time for part two, y'all. Lady Gaga had a really good halftime show. I think that was like a year or two ago. They need to put up that Tupac hologram up there. Stop fucking around. David Dahl of the Rockies to 2018. Prince never died. Oh my god. Prince is dead. So is Tupac and everybody else. I like the meme that came out like shortly thereafter. And I like this card that came up, like, right now. That is nice. For the Brewers, Eric Thames. The Patch Auto. That is uh, actually pretty sweet looking. Number 4 out of 10. The Spring Training Logo Patch card. That is, uh, that is nice. That is nice. What it do, Kyle? How you doing, bro? What else we got here? They all live on an island together. Yeah. I thought like outside the, the coast of uh, Costa Rica or something. They all live together and tell stories. Hey, remember that one time I died? Ha ha ha. Good times. Garrett Richards of the Angels foil. 
Uh, Kyle, let me see. Let me write that down now before I forget. Because I will forget. Uh, Giants, Bills, Bengals, Rams, Panthers. All right. When I'm done with this break, Kyle, I'll let you know. I wrote it down so I don't have to scroll through it. Let's see what's going on. What's up, Sports Cars Free? What up, McBapa? Justin Smoke of the Blue Jays here. This card is numbered. Woo! What up, man? Number to 67, that bad boy for the Blue Jays. All right, let's keep going through this thing. Determined to do this in under an hour. This will be number John Schmoltz of the Braves. To 29. McDaniels did not take the Colts job. Wow. That's didn't he agree to take that job though? That's a little fucked up. But I guess not, because the league just chews you up and spits you out. So kudos to the man for making a decision. Who's that calling me? Whatever. Josh Daniels has decided to not accept. Wow. I, I just got the. Uh, I was like, what is that? And I just got the notification on my phone. The good old ESPN alert. Chicka chicka wow wow. Man, I was really hoping Snoop Dogg would come out because they have this one song, Justin Timberlake and and Snoop called Signs. That song would have been so dope to perform at the Super Bowl. There you go, Pappy. Josh mishandles not going to the Colts apparently. Not uh, going back on his word and not accepting the head coaching job out there. I guess they got unfinished business in, in, in uh, New England. Ryan Braun of the Brewers. Foil. If that other, if the defensive coordinator also reneges, then there's, there's some hijinks going on there. I mean, listen, after what the Eagles showed, you know, the, that's pretty much the blueprint to beating the Patriots. Patricia is gone. Snoop is too blazed. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some shenanigans going on there, but I mean, it's the Patriots. No one's going to say anything. Even if they are guilty, no one's oh, like. I mean, I'm not sure what they would be guilty of. Cause I'll be honest, there's not really foul play there. It's really mostly just indecisiveness. If you, I don't know, man. That's that's weird. Brandon Drury, foil for the D-backs. You know what's you know what's gonna happen to McDaniel's now though, is did he accepted that that Colts job right and now he's like oh I don't want it no more. I think he pretty much just ruined his chance of being a head coach. Probably forever. Snoop Dogg could have just walked out there with some glasses and he would have been chilling. Matt Moore to twenty eighteen for the Giants. Snoop Dogg was too blazed to perform. That's hilarious. What about Kevin Hart getting bodied by the bodyguard when he tried to walk up stage with the Super Bowl trophy? That guy had a good time. Oh, you think he's going to be... Well, yeah, that, that makes sense. If McDaniels is the 
Patriots next head coach because no other team will will hire him after some shit like that. That's that's pretty that's pretty fucked up. Hart was being pretty stupid. But, you know, that's what alcohol does to you. If you don't believe me, ask Pappy. Or just come hang out with me at the National. <laughs> and then see what happens. Alright, two boxes left. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to lie. Kevin Hart is kind of douchey. But listen, I... I'm, I'm happy for the guy, man. He's successful. He's doing his thing. Philly's just won the Super Bowl. If y'all were in a, posi in, in a position of, I guess, kind of somewhat kind of power or influence like Kevin Hart, y'all would do it too. I'll tell you what. I would take it up a notch. I know Kevin Hart dropped that one F-bomb when, when they were interviewing him. I would not. I would know better than to even get a microphone anywhere, anywhere near my mouth, because the shit that would have came out of my mouth if the Dolphins won. Oh my God! What up, Angelo? Well, listen, man. I'm definitely trying to get immaculate football going. I got a filler here with uh, 12 spots left. That is what I'm trying to fill tonight. This is true, sports crush freak. I almost burned the house down. Because I was drunk. Imagine what happens if the Dolphins win a Super Bowl. Holy shit. The whole Everglades might be on fire when it, by the time I'm done. We're going to have barbecue pythons. I feel you, Emerald City. I feel you. To each their own. But if I had stupid money and I was a celebrity, I would definitely try to use my influence to get up there and be like, yo, but nah, you're right. It's definitely the player's moment. Let them have their shine. The best baseball brand now to go after rookies, uh, Bowman. Bowman, Bowman, Bowman. Pulisic going to Bayern Munich? That would be nice. That would be nice. Now they just need more Americans to play out there. So they can get their rep up. The fact that the U.S. is not in this year's World Cup is a shame. An absolute shame. Kevin Hart didn't do nothing to me. I don't exactly think he's funny, but, I mean, I don't blame him for acting a donkey. I would, too. Shit. Oh, my God. Dude, I would be a... You would, you'll would. you definitely hear about me in the news. I'm going to make it to the national news on some stupid shit if the Dolphins ever win a Super Bowl. Local hooligan in Miami, Florida, you know, dies... From being too happy. Well, Emerald City, I'm talking Bowman Draft uh, for Benjamin. Bowman Draft, if you're looking for rookies and prospects, is the way to go. McVapa, do you have any interest in watching the World Cup, by the way? It's, it's coming up in... A few months from now, but just interested to see what you uh if if you're gonna be tuning in. I for sure am tuning in. Columbia baby. Emerald City, man, that's that's of course if it's the right player, it's gonna go for Moolah. Alright, so I'm not going to make it in under an hour, but I'm definitely going to make it in under an hour and a half.
Oh, Pappy, really? So you're not going to see his new uh, his new special that he's going to come out with? <laughs> ah, gotcha, Emerald City. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All righty. Let's see what we got here. John Gray of the Rockies to Nate Jones of the White Sox to 2018. Jorge Polanco, the Twins foil. What is this? For the Phillies, Aaron Nola. The uh, spring training material card. Cool looking cards. Logo patch right there. Y'all need to watch Dave Chappelle's new stand up on on Netflix. It's pretty funny. I think there's two of them. You know, Kevin Hart to me is hit or miss. I heard he's really good in the new Jumanji movie, though. I heard that new Jumanji movie is actually really good, period. But, uh, you know, until I get that bootleg, I ain't going to see it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what else is in this top business. Got Uno Boxo left, though. Hoping to get some nastiness. Bruce Maxwell of the A's foil. I don't think I've come across a single short print. I mean, chances are, well, speaking, I think I might have spoke too soon. I think this might be a short print. And it is! Look at that. Number to 43. Well, it's code 43 at the end, so it is a short print. It is indeed a short print for the Rangers' Willie Calhoun. And top loaded. Code ends in four three, so it is a short print. There you go. First one I caught. There might be another one in, 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 in these stacks. But you know, that's why we employ sorters and shippers and whatnot, so they can uh look for that. Eduardo Nunez of the Red Sox. A 
It's almost done, Pappy. It's almost done. That's the good news. The bad news is I need some of my store breaks to fill because right now, nada is happening. And we got to change that. Are you telling me the same sign? Looking in my eyes. Kevin Kermeyer of the Rays to 2018. Mm. Alright, that's it for that box. Well, listen, Benjamin, to be completely honest, it's really hard to get a hit in this, man. Like, really hard. Plus, there's still one box left. So you got you got to keep hope alive, baby. Mm. Where is my... Oh, I don't have a box. Oh, no wonder. Whatever. Keep stacking them here on the side. My suggestions, if you're looking for strictly rookies and prospects and things like that, Bowman Draft, uh, Benjamin. Uh, Bowman's Best also has rookies, but it also has veterans as well. Um, I really like Bowman's Best, to be honest with you. And, and the, you get good bang for your buck in that deal. You know, you, in, a, in a box, you're going to get four autographs. So... If that's what you're looking for, Bowman's Best is definitely a good way to go. Uh, but if you're looking for straight up prospects and rookies, Bowman's Best and uh, Elite Extra Edition Baseball actually also has really nice stuff in it. So check those out. Last Box Mojo. It is now 8 o'clock. Next eBay break is Ascension Basketball, which is coming up right after deals. Alright, last box. Good luck, peeps. Well, Emerald City, do you like basketball? Uh, yes, Benjamin, that is collect correct. Well, Benjamin, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm you have more experience in the hobby than I do. Uh, I literally just open up packs of cards and talk a whole bunch of shit and try to entertain people and things like that. Um, but you know more of the hobby than I do for sure. Luckily, though, there's plenty of people here in our community in the chat that, you know, will help you out in each other. Yeah, Bowman now is, is the bee's knees. But again, like I said, I don't collect, so... 
don't really know shit. I, I didn't even know that they were like like autograph cards didn't start until like the early two thousands, late nineties. I figured, you know, since the beginning of time, I figured they just came up with autographs before. You know, so when I talk to some other people, some people that have been collecting cards for, you know, longer than I've been alive, they tell me, yeah, man, you know, the whole autograph concept is still fairly new in the hobby, so that's, that's kind of mind-boggling for me, anyway. Well, Kevin, that's a nice way to tell me to uh, shut the fuck up. I appreciate that. Oh, Emerald City. Now now I got to hear about that. Now I got to hear about that. Did, did David Stern piss on your Cheerios or something? I mean... Because basketball is my favorite sport, honestly. So I just, I just want to know what the love of my life did to you. So for those of you guys tuned in to watch the... Ascension break. I will be coming back. Well, actually, I'm saying I will be doing it right after this break. So, in about 10 minutes, Pete. Well, Kevin, I, th I think LeBron, if, if LeBron knows what he's doing, he should just come back to Miami. Honestly. You know, when, when he was here, he was consistently winning. Oh, okay, I get now I understand uh my man Emerald City. Hey, listen, I'd be salty too if, if if the heat up and left somewhere random like Oklahoma. I think the uh, the Supersonics will have a franchise though with I think within the next ten years there's gonna be another expansion in the league. I think they're probably going to add one or two more teams to each conference. That would be cool. Mike Clevenger of the Indians Fall. Dan Gilbert is an idiot. I mean, Dan Gilbert, I can't judge his business acumen because clearly the guy has enough money to own a team. But as far as, like, his basketball, you know, moves or whatever, he, he does not know the game of basketball. And, and that much is evident. So if I was LeBron, I, I, I would have never gone back to Cleveland. But kudos to him. At least he brought a, the, the city a championship, which which is pretty pretty cool. Uh, Chris Owings of the D-backs. That's numbered to 67. So he, he did his job. He, you know, he brought Cleveland to the promised land. He did he did his thing. So now it's time to, to, to focus on his legacy and do as much winning as possible. And in my humble opinion, I think Miami is the way to go. Of course I say that because I, I, I want the Heat to be back on top. So, uh, so sue me. No, but seriously though, I mean, Pat Riley was going to do everything in his power to surround him with the talent he needs to win a championship. And he was doing that in Miami. You know, now we got a bunch of young talent. We're scrappy, play defense. We're just, you know, we're we're a few few pickups away from being a contending team, in my opinion. Add two more superstars to our team, and we're we're in there, in the East anyway. Up against the Warriors is a whole nother ball game. I've also I've been hearing rumors that LeBron might even go to. To, to Golden State, which would be just, 
Like somebody gotta gotta stop that if that happens. Alright, maybe one more short print or something. Robinson Cano to 2018 for the Mariners. In there. Within five years, I hope so, man. Seattle definitely deserves a franchise. You know, and basketball is huge up there, man. But from what I heard, that uh, Seattle still has the rights to the name. So if they are going to get a, you know, if there's going to be a Sonics franchise. It can only be in Seattle. All right, Jose Iglesias of the Tigers foil. All right, got this last stack here. They got the name and the colors, even better. Especially if the Warriors keep dominating the way they are, there, there's going to have to be some kind of shakeup. Uh, Adam Wainwright of the Cardinals foil. And my heat, man, my heat have been sucking ass the last two weeks. We need to get it together. All right, getting it together for the Orioles, Buster Posey. With the uh, material card. And that's uh, going to do it for this break. Did I uh, come across any short prints or anything like that? I did catch one though. Willie Calhoun. Of the Rangers. That's uh, one that I did catch for show. And uh, here are a few number cards to show you. Just take out the uh, the best of the best. The negative is technically a case here. All right, so here we go. So we have Max Fried of the Braves. That is numbered to 76. We got a negative for John Lackey of the Cubs. These are about one per case. So, you know, case hit. I know how y'all love that. Tom Glavin of the Braves. That is numbered to 299. Corey Dickerson of the Rays. That's numbered to 50. John Schmoltz of the Braves to 299. Justin Smoke, Blue Jays. That's numbered to 67. And Chris Owings of the D-backs. That's numbered to 67. All right. Now... Let's do the uh, the old recap of the patch autos. So we did get one autograph. All right. I'm going to save that one for last. So let me show the other stuff we got. We got Buster Posey Giants patch. Masahiro Tanaka of the Yankees patch. Dejin Batances of the Yankees patch. Xander Bogarts of the Red Sox. Aaron Nola. Phillies. That's a pretty cool patch. And a patch auto for the Brewers, Eric Thames. And it is numbered 4 out of 10. That's nice. That is nice. And that was the break, you guys. 2018 Series 1 Baseball Hobby, half case number 5, eBay style. Thank you all very much. We'll get that right out to you.